households revenue at 3.17 billion euros, up 4.2 percent year over year. Reporting third quarter sales of 4.8 percent. Franklin Golf Romeo. And Fed policy will be driven by the pace of the data. Same policy will remain accommodative. Futures off. The session closed, still down about a percent on the day, for a little more than four pennies. So welcome to SMBU's free daily video. For our first video, what I thought I would do is give you a slice of a presentation that I did in Coronado, California at Stocktoberfest for StockTwits. There's this big event that StockTwits holds every year in the hometown of the uh, CEO now of Stock Twits or the one of the founders, Howard Lenzen, uh, who's brilliant. And Stock Twits is obviously a social media trading investing platform that we've been a part of since the beginning. And they have this amazing event out in this beautiful landscape right on the water where the best in the community come together and present, get a chance to meet each other, swap stories. And for somebody like myself, other than presenting, I learn a lot. I get to listen to the best in the business talking about how they're attacking the markets. It is amazing how many different ways there are to express your trading ideas. There are wonderful technicians, value investors, technical traders, long-term traders, short-term traders, options traders. Everyone is there. And so I just got back from that. We gave a presentation out there. went went really well. And I thought I would put together uh, a little slice of that for you guys for our new SMBU free daily video program. And so let's start with eight ideas. My, my presentation was entitled Eight Ideas from the Prop Desk to Improve Your Trading. So let's talk about one of them. This is Shark. Shark, unlike any other trader that we've had at SMB, cares less about his position working for him than anyone else we've ever trained. I don't know how he does it, but what he does when he's trading is he just intakes the data and then makes decisions. He makes the right decision. What do most of us do when we're in a position? And I think I'm guilty of this at times as well. What do most of us do? We root. We're in a position and we're long. We root for the stock to go up. But then what does that do? What happens when we root for the stock to go up is we color the data. So when our chart starts to look like the stock is a little bit weaker, we ignore it. When the tape shows a new, very significant buyer coming into the market, we scoff at it. When the stock makes a sharp down move, we mock it. And then we get a week's worth, a day's worth, a month's worth of trading data. And that trading data only tells us how good we are as a trader when we're coloring our trade results. That does not tell you how good or bad you can be as a trader. It tells you how good of a trader you are in a suboptimal space. And so lesson number one, you want to be sitting there in your seat. You want to be almost indifferent about whether or not your position is going to work or whether or not it's not going to work. We're going to make plenty of trades in our trading career. There are going to be lots that do not work. But what we have to do is make the right decision. That should be the takeaway from each one of our trades. That should be our goal. My job is to make the right decision. That means not only lightening up when information comes into the marketplace that your position is less likely to work, but adding when information comes into the marketplace that you're probably more right than when you started this position. Think to yourself, be honest. Are you really making the right decision all the time? Or are you rooting when there's evidence you're going to be wrong? And are you a little bit 
hesitant to add when you should. And then think about what your results really would be if you could sit there and you could be in that state that shark is, a state of equanimity. That's a great word. A state of equanimity, where you are literally sitting there and just intaking the data and making the right decision. So think about that, try and get to that space. I think that'll help your trading. SMBU is holding a three-day in-house earning season trading session, November 5th through November 7th. Hopefully you get the chance to be in the area and come join us to work on your game of improving your earnings season trading. We're gonna try and accomplish four things. One, get you into better stocks. As I wrote in One Good Trade, you're only as good as the stocks you trade. Let's get better at your stock selection to improve your trading during earnings season. Second, trading the right setups. You need to trade the right stocks and the right setups. We will, during this training session, we will point out setups that offer the best risk reward. Setups where you have the best risk reward, where you don't have to trade in and out of those positions as much as other trades, where your gains versus your losses will be quite significant, where stocks tend to be cleaner and trend for an extended period of time. Right stocks and right setups. Third, we want to help you improve your process. Make sure that you don't miss any of the best setups, miss any of the best stocks. Make sure you understand how to review the best setups and the right stocks so you can internalize those setups so you, when you see them again, you trade them bigger and better. Process is incredibly important to improving as a trader. And then finally, we want to improve these skills so that every single earning season for the rest of your trading career, you are better. So you can take advantage of the increased opportunities that occur during earnings season. That's what we will accomplish together. We really hope to see you in-house for this training program.